From Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 at noon. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. We begin this afternoon with breaking news. Staff and students are being evacuated at La Rosa and Preparatory School in Lafayette because of a bomb threat. Several agencies responded. We will keep you up to date on this story on our website, klfy.com. In other news, Oxner Medical Center gave an update this morning on how facilities are holding up post-Hurricane Ida and continued COVID-19 cases. News 10's Danielle Johnson joins us in the studio. So Danielle, what's the update? Well, Caroline, Oxner officials confirmed recovery efforts continue and are going well. And as you mentioned, their focus is on Hurricane Ida, recovery, COVID-19 recovery, and the well-being of their employees. During their last briefing, just hours before Hurricane Ida made landfall, Oxner officials released their hurricane prep plan and mentioned COVID-19 statistics over the previous several weeks. In comparison, today, several facilities damaged from Hurricane Ida are now up and running. Canceled surgeries and procedures due to COVID and Hurricane Ida are slowly being rebooked and employees are getting the support they need. We've made great progress on all of those fronts over the past week. A month ago, there were 1,009 positive COVID-19 patients. This week, they are down more than half that number. You know, we were so happy that we were down, um, you know, uh, several hundred over the previous couple of weeks, and we're down another hundred this week, down to 386. Employee well-being increased. Workers in quarantine went from 500 just a month ago down to 110. Those impacted by Hurricane Ida are also receiving nutritional, monetary, and family support. Warner Thomas says almost $1.6 million in employee assistance has been issued. And as well as other things like food and water, getting personal items and toiletries and things like that to our employees. Staying on employees, officials say workers are now required to get vaccinated. Workers who refuse will get suspended for 30 days. During that period of time, they'll, they'll get an opportunity to be able to get vaccinated. If, if not, if they haven't met a religious or medical exemption, they would be asked to leave auction. Now, employees have until October 29th to get fully vaccinated, and so far, 81% of employees are fully vaccinated. Danielle Johnson, KLFY News 10. Thanks, Danielle. There are about 32,000 Oxner Medical Center employees. A few hundred are hired every week. Officials say they don't want to lose employees, but they will not be negatively impacted if they do.